everyone and thank you so much for tuning in again and today's vlog is all about looking after your skin whilst wearing face masks and this is because I keep seeing lots of posts on social media about people saying SOS I've got spots I'm getting rashes and stuff from face masks so I just wanted to give some little tips that I've used personally to help your skin and hopefully it helps fingers crossed but if you've got any tips that I haven't mentioned in this video feel free to put a comment below and help others. So first tip is if you wear foundation, stop. Stop right now. And I know you're probably screaming at me saying, I can't do this. I need my foundation. I've worn foundation since I was born. <laughs> stop it. I stopped wearing foundation and noticed a massive difference in my skin. Um, I have got this little bit here, but that bit's always there. And I've got this little spot here, but that's nothing to do with my mask. But yeah, my skin has been much better since I stopped wearing foundation. You don't get the friction on the mask and rubbing the foundation into the pores. And that, that's probably what's causing the spots on your face. So yeah, make sure clear the foundation. Your, your face is going to be covered with mask anyway, so people can't even see your foundation. So don't worry about it. Just stop. My next tip is regularly washing your face. Um, so if you've got a chance during the day as well, like if you're out on placement or on the wards or at work, whatever, um, just giving your face that little bit of a wash, dry it off, make sure it's dry thoroughly and putting your mask back on. That might help as well. Just clear anything that might be under your mask, irritating it as well. My next tip is finding good skincare products. Now, I have always been the sort of person that I try and avoid stuff on my face, to be honest, because I've got quite sensitive skin. And even I used to use Lizelle before. Lizelle's amazing. I really, really love it. It's very pricey. But there's one thing of Lizelle that even I get a reaction to it. And that was supposed to be for sensitive skin type. So, yeah, I avoided um, all skin products and stuff like that just because it's not good for my skin. I end up breaking out in spots and my pores get clogged and stuff. And sometimes my face goes greasy and I can never find the right product for my face. So it's about balancing and finding what works for your skin because again, everyone is different and what works for you might not work for somebody else. What works for me might not work for you. So yeah, find what works for you for a start. However, I have this past week, I had a little pamper kit through my post, which was a little freebie, like a trial thing just to test it. Um, and this was from someone called Upcycle Beauty, who I'd never heard of before. They recycle things like coffee beans and things like that to put into their products. Vegan friendly and animal cruelty free. So they're an amazing brand, an amazing company. I don't get sponsored for saying this, I promise you. I'm just literally plugging it in because it's amazing. The stuff is amazing. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a try. I was a bit wary because as I said, I've had reactions and stuff to things before. So yes, I tried the clean, cleansing face scrub stuff that they've got. And this was like an orangey sort of apricot seeds or apricot stone, sorry, that they use and they grind it down and they put all these things in it, these natural products into it anyway. Um, and your skin, like today, I used the last bit last night my skin feels amazing. It's so soft. It's so like, it feels like it's really shining and glowing. I don't know if it is. It probably looks no different to be honest, but it feels amazing. And I wake up feeling actually I've got a really fresh face. Um, and I also use, they've got an eye cream, which contains the coffee beans that I was talking about just around my eyes. So you end up smelling like some sort of <laughs> apricot latte <laughs> when you go to bed or in the day um but if you like that smell it's okay if you don't like that smell you might be a bit put off but it feels so nice on your eyes and it's really cooling and I wake up feeling actually my eyes feel fresh as well I had no reactions my spots are bare minimal it's just been incredible so yeah so because I ran out of my little tester kit I went online this morning to have a look at buying some because I'm obsessed with it now um I can't get enough of it and it is a bit pricey Another tip, as always, keep nourished, eat good food that will give you less spots. If you're eating a lot of takeaway and junk food, you're going to get those spots. You're also going to bring down your immune system and everything. And yeah, so yeah, eat well and also drink plenty of fluids because the more fluid you pump into your body, you know, it's going to help clear your skin. It's good to lubricate your spine as well. So fluids is always up there with nutrition on my list. And I am guilty of not doing it sometimes. So yeah, we all need a bit of fluid and nutrition in our lives. And last but not least, the use of cold water. So if you wash your face and really actually using like um, Muslim cloths with hot water just to cleanse your face with in the mornings or nights, whenever you're washing your face, 
use some hot water and then afterwards using cold water because that's just going to close the pores because if you put hot water on your face or steam your face whatever you're doing to your face it's going to open those pores so what you want to do is close them afterwards so apparently cold water is really helpful i wash with cold water all of the time actually it was the only thing i used to use because i never used to use soap i never used to use any products on my face even to get my makeup off it was a coconut oil that i would use so it was all natural and then i would just wash with cold water and that's how i've always sort of managed my skin so the use of cold water really really does help as well just close them pores and hopefully prevent any spots and reactions my next one is more of a simpler sort of solution maybe but if you find yourself having reactions to these masks i had a reaction to one of the masks here and that was because the material underneath was really sort of rough and it really rubbed against my skin and it was causing this irritation and i had these little red patches on my cheeks um just change the mask get a different brand if you're at work and it's it's one of the work ones see if they can change the branding or something like that to a, a better mask maybe that really helps because we've had two lots of masks comes in at where i work and one of them does cause that irritation but actually the other one's fine so sometimes it's down to branding and the people that are making it as well so have a look at that and last but not least if nothing is working you're having hell and you're getting these reactions still what about trying a barrier cream i don't know if there's any evidence on this but it's just come to me as i was doing this vlog i thought well we use barrier cream on other people to for like moisture related skin reactions and things like that surely that must form some sort of barrier on your skin for when you put the masks on because things like the Cavalon spray that we use, we use LBF little sticks that we use and that's just to stop as well. People getting reactions from the dressings, that's what I've always done and that's worked really, really wonders in the past for people. But again, putting something like that on your face, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go down because your face is quite a sensitive place to put things like that so yeah but you could give it a go let me know if you've tried this put the comments below again because we have to wear these masks it's going to be ongoing for a very long time now it's this isn't going away anytime soon i think mask wearing is going to be pretty much part of our future so yeah we've got to get it right guys anyway that is all my tips that's all i've got guys i'm sorry if none of that works for you these are this is stuff that i've literally just tried myself and it really really helps me and um, so i really hope that it helps you out there if i've hopefully i've given you something to think about and to try out yourselves and let me know again if there's anything that you've tried that i haven't spoke about put it in the comments and let's help each other out have a great day